Hi everyone. I thought I would come back on here and let you guys know about the books I did finish the year of 2014. Um, no, I didn't finish a lot of books like most people on here do. But, and most of the books I, I don't have with me. Um, at all. Because they're either, um, library books or, um, I've already gave them away to people. Um, I do have one book that I will show you. Maybe, I don't know. But the first book I finished this year was back in August of 2014, and that was The, Char uh, the Trial of Fallen Angels by James Kim Kimmel Jr. I liked that one. Um, while I was reading that one, uh, there was a bunch of stuff going on in my life. Um, and it was stuff that I didn't want to be reminded of if I, like, had kept the book. Um, so, I gave that away to somebody. Um, like I said, I did like it, but I didn't think I would read it again due to, you know, the memories that it will, would dredge, dredge up every time I have read it. Or every time I would have read it before or after, you know, the first time. Uh, one of the other books I finished was Wicked by Gregory Maguire. I did like this book. It was a library book. Um, I gave it like three stars. I would have gave it more had... I not been living in an apartment that um, I didn't like living in because of the neighbors and the people in the office being weird and, and there was this one guy that was a uh, A, um, maintenance guy and he like ran over me with his truck and I, ac I actually almost flipped over and I felt his back bumper on me and if I hadn't been in the chair and if my husband hadn't like and been there and got him, got his truck off of me, then I possibly wouldn't be here right now. So that's why we kind of moved here when we did. But anyways, that's not what the um, video is about. The other one I finished was in... It was September 11th, 2014, and that was the a novel of Zelda Fitzgerald by Therese Ann Fowler. I did like this book. Um, some of the things that Scott did, um, I didn't like, though. Um, it was just in the time that this book was written and, you know, all that, but there was some things I didn't agree with, um, so, yeah, I gave that, like, three stars, I, I think, um, another one I finished was in, on October 23rd, 2014, and that was uh, Nick and Tesla's 
super cyborg gadget glove. And I liked it, and it was more geared toward children. Um, I actually, I gave it like three stars, I think. Um, I actually gave it as a Christmas gift to my, one of my nephews on my husband's side of the family this year, and I'm hoping he really enjoys it because I talked to his mom before Christmas, and she said he would really like it, so I'm really hoping he does. Um... Another one I finished, November 11th of 2014, was Daddy's Girl by Lisa Scottaline. And I really liked this one. I gave it a four and a half stars. Um, this one was about this... Uh, college professor, these two college professors, um, basically she had a boyfriend when it first started, and then, whatever, um, you know, um, things happen, and I don't want to give the plot away, because that may, if any of you were to read it, I don't want to give it away. So I really, really like that one. So I recommend everybody go read that one. Um, another one I finished was Kiki's Big Adventures. And that was, uh... December 2nd of 2014. I do have it with me, but <clears throat> where this, I'm sorry, where this book is, is totally um, packed down with stuff right now. With us just coming off of Christmas, I haven't got everything, you know, back to normal yet. Um, so I can't show you the book right now. It's a children's book and I really, really, really liked it. Because it didn't just give you, like, the English words of things. She visited Athens, Greece. It's a cat. She visited Athens, Greece. And within the book, you know, they... They pick out the easy words to give, give like, the kids a, um, you know, how to say words in a different language. I'm not sure how to put that. And the last one I finished this year was December 13th of 2014. And it was Black Dawn. Now, for me, this one was my... I really, really, really liked this one. Um, I gave it four stars. Um, I'm just hoping that after I read the last one, the last one that I've got in the bind up, that it don't make me want the tenth one because apparently L.J. Smith isn't going to either hasn't written it yet or something because the last time I checked on it, it said it wasn't going to come out until like 2020 or something like that. But I really, really like those books that I have read so far. Um, the only one left in the bind up that I have to finish is the last one. 
which is witch light, I think. But I really, really, really like the bind ups. I will say right now that my favorite one was the first bind up in the series. Or in the, you know, whatever. Um, but I do recommend you guys reading this one. Um, I know a lot of you have this on your shelves in the first place. And if you haven't read it yet, I suggest you read it. So my two favorite books of the year was Daddy's Girl by Lisa Scottoline and Black Dawn by L.J. Smith. Um, so, I hoped, th I hope that everybody had a good reading year and has the best reading year for the year to come, excuse me, um, but I have a lot of things going on and coming up in 2015, um, not for myself, but for family that I'm not allowed to talk about. And I'm not sure how much reading I will be getting done, but I hope to be reading a little more than I did this month, or this year. So, if you guys have read any of the books that I have finished this year, Please let me know what you thought of them, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.